is pretty impressive. He's gained worldwide fame and made a name for himself around the globe. Yeah, he's the world's youngest mentalist, and we're talking with him right here on Art Seattle. So welcome, Nevo the Mentalist. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? Good morning. We're good. Good morning to you. So, Nevo, talk with us about your backstory. What inspired this journey for you? So, I'm 19 now. I started by the age of nine, and I was always kind of a weird kid. Always, uh, I was very good at mathematics, very good memory. I started, like, being very curious about how people think and the human brain. So, I was always trying to be one step ahead of everyone and start learning about all those psychological techniques, such as body language, suggestion, hypnosis, and, and really and understand how the human brain works. And now I'm a mind reader. Just amazing. And we know that you were just in, in Israel where you perform for families of the Israel Defense Forces. Um, I'm wondering if you can talk with us about that experience and what it means to perform there, given what's, what's going on in that part of the world right now. So I'm not really allowed to talk about this kind of stuff, but I'm really trying to keep the moral up, trying to entertain uh, the soldiers and make people feel better. Good. Well, let's talk more about that, making people feel better. What do you hope people learn from your story and performances? And maybe you can give us some examples of, of maybe what a mentalist does. <laughs> sure. So as I told you, I started by the age of nine. I was a kid with a dream. When I was uh, 12, I've been the finalist of Israel's Got Talent. I managed to tour around the world, three months tour in Dubai, five times in the United States. Now I'm here touring in New York, doing performance ends. Uh, I'm next week flying to Miami, and I just got back from Indianapolis. So it's really all around the world, um, traveling the globe, performing. And I would love to give inspiration for teenagers and just people all around the world, if they have a dream and they want to succeed and they want to do something, really, if you're passionate about it, Continue and you will fulfill your dream. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I would love to show you something. Um, so as I told you, I'm very good with numbers. I'm very passionate about it. I would like to do something with both of you. So Steve and Tyra, I'll like each one of you to think of a three-digit number. Okay. Okay, done. Done it. You, you have something in your mind? Yes. yes. Great. Don't say anything out loud. Maybe I'll try to create a connection between you two. So I'm going to write something on that post-it note. Okay, so I wrote something, and I'm going to put it here in my jacket pocket. I want you, for the first time, out loud, say both of your numbers. 619. 173. 173 and? 619. 619, 173. I could have not predicted those numbers, and we didn't manage to get both of you to think of the same one. But as I told you, I am of everyone. That's what I'm trying to do. So I have a question. Do you have your cell phone with you? Yes. yes both of us do. Yes. Just open up a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Calculators open. Okay. And I would like you to add these two numbers. 619 and, and or the numbers we chose? Yes, the numbers you chose. What was yours? 173. Yeah, okay. I don't want to, I don't want to, just tell me the score. 792. 792? Yeah. Uh, I want to show you. <laughs> Stop. Kidding me. Stop. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh How did you do that? What is your secret? <laughs> if I'll tell you, I'll have to kill you, and I don't want to. You just get it actually, actually, I just did a show in New York. And someone asked me, how do you do it? I told him, if I'll tell you, I'll have to kill you. <laughs> then he stood up and he said, can you please tell my wife? Oh. So, <laughs> wow. Goodness. That was a good one. That was a good one. Jeez. That's funny. Well, any That's plans amazing. to come to Seattle for a tour, for a tour stop? I would love it. I would love it, actually. So basically, most of my performances are corporate events and private events. I'm also doing big venues and performances for bigger crowds, uh, such as I did in Dubai and here in New York. Um, but it's really about entertaining people, make people feel good, feel better, being blown away. And if by doing that I can convey the message of really fighting for your dream, trying to fulfill dreams, it doesn't matter where you're from, what's your age, and make people feel good, that's what I'm doing. Oh, mm. Wow. It's a good message. It is, yeah. Wow. Only 19 years old. Congratulations to you again. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks, Thank Nivelle. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was weird. I know. Okay, but what is years of 713 or 173? 713. Yours was what? 619. Se well, where'd you get your numbers from? 743. I don't know. You just it just came popped in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Mine's my um, area code. 
So oh, mine I'm, wasn't any area code connected. I'm wondering if like you that. Googled yeah. us before. That's weird. Because 743 means nothing to me, really, or whatever number I said. So strange. I yeah. love it, though. <laughs> That's, wow. Okay. Good for him. That's how we're starting our Monday. <laughs> just just Mind blown. That's right.